If there's one thing in this world that has encouraged me to buy Lego sets over the years, it is without question Lego gift with purchases. And I know why. It's the rarity factor. It's the fact that you have to spend a certain amount of money during a certain period of time to get this very specific thing that isn't readily available to the public that you can't just walk into a store and get. Lego does a very good job of making that thing feel special and because of that, I want it. This most recent gift with purchase is a Lego moving truck and to get that, you had to spend $180. The problem is, I didn't want to spend $180, so I decided to take a different route. I was just going to use the pieces from my collection to see if I could build my own moving truck for free. And I did just that, and I customized it, making it my own, which makes it even more special. So let's take a look at this, and I'll show you what I came up with. First thing you notice is that this truck is not red. No, this is a yellow truck. I wanted to go for almost like a Lego truck theme, but then Clarkman found this piece on the side here that kind of is in line with what they have on here, a little more modern, but we found that in our collection. And I was like, okay, it's just gonna be a yellow moving truck, much to the dismay of my Supra, rest in pieces. I had to pull some parts for that, particularly some of these uh, slopes and things that are on the side here, but I did have these yellow doors and that was kind of convincing as well because I didn't have the red doors that went on here. So sometimes when you're trying to pull this off, necessity becomes the most important thing and you're like, well, it looks like it's gonna be yellow. I did have, I think I can take this off so you can see, I did leave red on the inside in hopes of maybe making it a Lego truck. If I could get like a big Lego sticker to put on the side of this, I think that would be really awesome. Put that on both sides actually, because this side is blank. Other things that are slightly changed are the colors. I didn't have a lot of that, the dark gray that they use for like the the mirrors and also the bumper. So we use just like the, the regular gray and I was able to replicate some of that. A little bit different internally too. There was like a half circle tile piece with a jumper on it that I didn't have, but I was able to get the front to look exactly like that one does. The headlights kind of get lost in this a little bit more than what the uh, the red one does because they, they now look yellow, but they are clear. And those pieces also came from the Supra. That was when I realized the Supra was gonna, gonna meet its maker. <laughs> so. I I use those and I have no regrets. We can rebuild the Supra someday and maybe pull this apart or get an extra Supra for, for parts. I also changed the wheels up. I didn't have the exact tires that that had, so these ones have a little bit of tread. We can go off-roading with this moving truck, as you can see there. These ones are, I guess, a little bit flatter and they have a different, uh, like, rim. This, this is the only thing that I had, so that's what I used. That made my decision pretty easy. I also didn't have the uh, half round pieces there. I had them in blue. I looked at my collection, I was like, ooh, I've got a lot of those. This is the thing that Clark Man made me. It uh, symbolizes our Lego collecting journey in a mosaic. I didn't have that in anything but blue and I thought blue would really not look good. Like, you, it, ooh, it'd been bad. So we've got like the, the little slopes there and it works, you know, if you're stepping up on there. I don't think it looks as good as that. That one definitely looks a little more like retro and vintage than this one does, but I still like it nonetheless. I used the windshield that I had in my collection. It was pretty clean. There's a lot of scratches and stuff. So, you know, take that with a grain of salt. The actual back of this, this is where things really got uh, kind of off the rails, so to speak, even though this is in a train. I didn't have the doors that they used for the back of this. So I had to use my own. This actually had a police sticker on the side that I peeled off just so I could do that. But the rest of it is pretty similar. I didn't like the, the wood top. I didn't feel like that would look good with the yellow. So. I ended up doing white and as you can see, you can get in there just like you would ordinarily with this. So it has the same function and it does everything that that truck does. It did break the number one rule of Lego reviews. Don't, don't take pieces off. It does kind of suck that that's a little curved right there because uh, it kind of shows on the sides a little bit, but it's not something that you really notice and these open up as well, continually breaking my rules. <laughs> But inside there, you can see it is a moving truck. You can use it just like it's intended. Here's a look at the bottom. Nothing too crazy there. Again, most of it was kind of the same pieces. I just ended up switching colors on some. The front of it, remarkably similar to that. And that's really what I was going for. I love the front of this truck and the way that looked. I just thought that was so neat. And I'm really happy with how this turned out. It, I think it has the spirit of this truck while not exact. And I didn't build all the extra little accessories and things. I just wanted the truck and that's what I have. I even tried to recreate the minifig here too as well. And she's pretty close, not the exact same face, but hey, we did it. And you know what this cost me? 
nothing. Now you may say, Greg, I appreciate your effort with that. It certainly looks nice, but it doesn't replicate what the Lego gift with purchase is. That is an official set with a box, instructions. And I really love just sitting down and building the set and all the accessories and everything. And I can appreciate that. I've certainly been doing that for a very long time, but now I'm on like this quest to actually enjoy and use my Lego collection. And when I looked at that truck, I was like, I wonder if I can do it. And to me, that was half the fun. Just looking around my collection, pulling parts, some of them organized, somewhat not organized, still working on that. But when I was getting the parts together and I was like, this is working, yeah, I'm like finding this. Then I ran into Roblox and then the Supra went RIP so I could I could get the extras. And then I was like, wow, I built the front of it and it was there. I knew the, the, the box in the back was gonna be a problem, but I was like, I can make this work. And when I look at this, like there's a sense of pride and accomplishment that comes from me holding this in my hands that I don't think I would have had had I just spent $180 to get that set for free. That would have been great and all. And that obviously like I have a ton of respect for Lego designer and obviously I do because I replicated what they did here. But like this, I still, I feel like is a little bit of me. This has my personality in it. And this is really where I wanna go with Lego. This is what I wanna share. And I wanna encourage you above all else to take a look at your Lego collection. Don't always worry about the next biggest thing. Take a look at what you have and maybe you can make something cool. Even if you can't replicate this, maybe you didn't have the Supra to pull that off. Make a box truck, make it a complete square or rectangle. You know you can pull that off with just some bricks. You can do it and you can have fun without spending money. Thank you guys all for watching. Hope you enjoyed this little thing that I had to share here. Plenty more of this to come. Maybe the next to give a purchase, we'll, we'll try to pull this off again. I hope you have a glorious rest of your day and we'll see you in the next video.